Fuel Lab presents this quick video demonstrating the importance of having a properly plumbed return line. The location where the fuel return line actually returns fuel within the tank can make a huge difference with respect to the ability to keep air out of your fuel system as well as maintain consistent fuel delivery. An overhead splash return can induce air into the system and result in drastic fluctuation in fuel pressure as well as pump damage. Making sure the line returns the fuel below the fuel surface is one of the keys to a properly performing fuel system. First we show a setup using the 42402 pump and the 529 series electronic regulator. Take note of two things in this video. The first thing being how well the regulator controls the pump. There is very little being returned to the tank and the pump is only running as fast as it needs to in order to maintain its target fuel pressure. After we induce the air, you will notice the pump speed acting erratically. The regulator sees the pressure changing as the pump ingests the air bubbles. The regulator tries to control the pump enough to maintain the pressure, but with air in the line, it's nearly impossible. Second, we show a setup using the same 42402 pump, but this time we are using one of our standard inline regulators, the 525 series. Again, take note of two things. The first thing being the rather a large amount of fuel returned to the tank. If a person were to upgrade to the electronic regulator, there would be less return to the tank, less heat in the fuel, and less pump wear, all due to better pump speed control. The second thing you notice is a change in tone of the pump, as well as the pressure drops and spikes, as the pump ingests the air that's being induced by the overhead splash return. Something to keep in mind is that we use mineral spirits as the fuel in our test stands. Gas and diesel would foam even more, with diesel being much worse than gas. As you can see, installing a dip tube or finding a way to get the return line to enter below the fuel level is very important, especially in an EFI application. 